two, one. What's going on, Hawk fans? What's up, Hawks? Now, what's it gonna be? Do you think you could hang with my homie Mo D? Oh, shit. Oh. Dropping bars, Nick the Couple and I'm Mo Diggs. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much. This is gonna be our first uh, December podcast. So uh, we whoop, whoop. are past our Thanksgiving antics month, and we have moved on to Christmas. I'm really behind on my shopping. Just saying. She really is. Um, so I believe the first thing that we're going to address, um, I was challenged to a 30-day keto challenge in the month of November. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I hated Marco for that. <laughs> But it was okay. It actually seemed to work out. It's like the best time for my grandmother to break her hip two, day, <laughs> two days before Thanksgiving. So we didn't really miss out on Thanksgiving dinner. There was no Thanksgiving in the Sierra household. Um, but uh, luckily, she's doing better. She's doing her physical therapy. So good for you, Grandma. Good job, Abuela. Um, so yeah, I did the keto challenge. I completed it. I do not have to be the bearded lady. So I'm, I'm excited. I was so close to buying that. So clinic. you know what that means, right? That means for the month of December, Nikki is on the keto challenge. <sighs> so we uh, we shared a wonderful breakfast this morning where she ate everything keto friendly. She had eggs and bacon. Mm. I had a nice cafe con leche. And anybody who's Cuban or knows a Cuban knows that you have to have your cafe con leche with a mountain of sugar that I poured boy. in front of Nikki. And I had my little... Cuban bread with the butter in front of her, and I dipped it in my coffee, mm -hmm. and I ate it. I and think she, that was worse than me just eating a donut. In I think front she, of them. I think she flipped me off at least three times during breakfast. <laughs> at least, <laughs> at least three times. <laughs> so, luckily, she is sticking with this keto challenge, and she wants to know what should happen. What penalty will it be if she fails her keto challenge? Yeah, how is it going to punish me? So, I'm going to do this instead of me coming up with something. I'm going to ask you, Hawk fans, uh, what do you think should be the penalty for Nikki if she fails her keto challenge? And let me tell you, her wife will let us know. Her wife will let us know. Yeah. So dig deep, figure it out. Give us a penalty, please. All right. So if you guys tuned in last week, uh, we were able to go ahead and do a little interview with uh, Dapper Jameson. Oh, I was so disappointed. So excited. Dapper He's was got his awesome. It looked really cool. He was so we're cool. All it was such a great experience. To watch. Um, I enjoyed yeah, it. He's just ready. But I think you guys had some questions. So like for the first 20 minutes for the, for the in interview process, uh, director Mark Morales and myself asked Dap some questions and I had Angela sitting next to me and Angela had nothing to say until he thought he was getting pranked and started talking over Dap. <laughs> so we had to silence him for a few moments and explain to him that he's actually drinking keto coffee. So good job. Unfortunately, Angela. I want to give you a little explanation. So un unfortunately, Angelo and I got there late because we had to go back to his place of employment to go get the final answer because he left it in his locker like Angelo. Um, so we came late. So by the time we got to Mark's house, we were live. We, everything was on. Dap was was connected. He was he heard us come into the house. He heard us say hello to Marco and everybody. And I mean, we were on. So Angelo thought you know that his seat was next to me because usually that's where he sits and mark usually stays behind the camera but the initial plan was for mark to sit with me for the interview and then angela would come on later for antics but we didn't talk about it <laughs> so angela just took mark's seat Whoops. <laughs> started drinking mark's coffee <laughs> and mark was like just roll with it <laughs> just, just, let's just let it go let's do it let's do it so i think all of you want to see Mark Morales. So I want to cue the director cam. What's up, guys? Uh, what is it going to say in Angelo? Get off my chair, bitch, like Liam on the head. So Only a good director would have said that. We, we just had to kind of roll with it. Maybe if we could cut, not live, not live. <laughs> right? No, yeah, absolutely. No, no, so no, it was understandable. So, so for, for so those of you who thought like that was playing, it was not. And we, we don't, don't have a good director. director. We have a great director. That's so, right. Thanks, so guys. Mark knows how to roll with the punches. <laughs> Rolls with the punches. So there you go, guys. We have revealed to you the face of the sublime eye, Mark Morales. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, just real quick, 
I uh, want to go ahead and plug the wonderful Payless Tobacco for all of your tobacco and novelty needs. Uh, go see Michelle Mills. That's Michelle with one L. She would love to see you. She'll take care of you. Anybody who mentions the Over the Top podcast gets 10% off anything in the store. Sweet. So you can save a dollar. You can save $30. It and all just depends want. on what you spend it on. So please go pay her a visit. Payless Tobacco. She's a wonderful young lady. She's got a family. She's got kids. She's got bills to pay. Let's go. Get over there. Mm-hmm. All right. Did you want to talk about that fight real quick before we get going on the Netflix stuff? The fight um, between Fury and Wilder. Mm-hmm. It's getting wild. It's getting wild. Um, punches were thrown at the weigh-in, and uh, a lot of trash was talked. And I was asked personally from some very close friends and a couple avid watchers that they really wanted us to talk about this fight. And I got a couple clips here. Um, you can probably see them argue and fight. You just go ahead and let you see that. And uh, yeah, uh, in my opinion, this is no different than any other fight. I don't because it's fixed. They don't. I'll be honest with you. The last real fight I watched was Tyson and Holyfield with the biting of the ear. Literally, that was the last fight I saw. Well, shit, man, that was like 20 years ago. Yeah, oh, don't be saying my age like that. You old as hell. Mm. You older than dirt, boy. She could lie. She could almost say that it was a kid or something. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, when I was a kid. I was watching fights. No, I probably I was, was a kid. No, no, you were definitely not a kid. You were already a teenager because I was there, and I was a teenager. And it was we out were, of that house. No, it was not. Yes, it was. No, it was not. Yes, it was. We were. Dude, you've smoked way more pot than I have. So yeah, it was at a wedding house. I have smoked a lot of pot. <laughs> But it wasn't, and I know it wasn't because I was scamming with one of the other girls on the team. We were, I think, in Plantation, in Plantation, Florida. It was for a softball tournament. My sister was on a traveling team with PSN, and this was right before she got into high school. So she was 13, I was 11, and I was scamming with, I'm not going to say your name <gasps> because it would just give it away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, anyhow, fine. I'm not going to fit. Jenica. Um, <laughs> I told everybody, Jenica. Yeah, you did. Sorry. You did. It she's was tw- married now. It was 20 years ago. She's I know somebody. She's got a baby. Somebody stole her from me. They're oh. supposed to reveal today if it's boy or a girl. That's awesome. We're probably going to find out soon mm-hmm. uh, as well. We are expecting a baby in my household. So, yeah. Um, I mean, if you like boxing, this 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 match looks like it's going to be interesting. Uh, Fury versus Wilder. I believe both are undefeated. Um, it should be exciting. Uh, in my opinion, if it's not Mayweather and Pacquiao, why watch it? Yeah. Just just me. Just saying. <clears throat> and they're both past their prime anyway. So <laughs> anyway, some really cool news. Um, when I say cool, uh, I'm really conflicted kind of about it. Um, as you know, I'm a huge, huge Marvel fan. I love everything that they're doing. Um, I'm not a comic book reader. I'm a movie show watcher. And I think what Marvel has done, you know, the past – what is it? 10 years. Mm-hmm. Um, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Um, but something very disappointing happened and I just received news. Daredevil is canceled. Like the movie, the series, what? Okay. Well, since you don't know what you're talking about, Daredevil is not a movie. <laughs> Daredevil was a movie back 15, 18 years ago, starring Ben Affleck as Matthew that Murdoch. Uh-huh. That was the only Daredevil movie ever made, uh-huh. and it was very poor. Um, Ooh, so, I kind of liked that one, though. Yeah, though I don't remember it. <laughs> no, it's, it, the writing was terrible. The acting was decent, but the, the writing was terrible. Okay. Yeah, what Colin Farrell did to Bullseye just made him a joke. Um, so season three of Daredevil brought Bullseye out. You got a whole different spin on it, because mm-hmm. as... As a product grows, it has to evolve, and it has evolved into um, Bullseye being a FBI agent. So he's a super FBI agent with super mental problems, former sniper, former this, former that. This guy's just uh, tacked to a T. Your typical PTSD. I'm gonna Wilson go Fisk gets, on, gets in his head, you know, and, and he ends up impersonating Daredevil, uh, doing it. And then you basically, season three was to show you how bullseye became bullseye he gets the animanium spine and mm-hmm. and whatever whatnot so i was really excited to see what they were gonna do with season four because we were gonna get the real bullseye we weren't gonna get this new bullseye idea of bullseye or like it was kind of bullseye's origin story and how many times have i said bullseye 
at least four times <laughs> in the last minute. So I'm sure there's a graphic for you to see. Um, I was really excited about it, so they canceled it. And this is following the cancellations of Iron Fist and Luke Cage. Iron Fist went first, Luke Cage went next, and now Daredevil's gone. So there is a Punisher uh, season that is already ready to release in 2019. So we're going to see another season of Punisher. Okay, and Jessica Jones is in production. So with three of the four members of the Defenders shows being canceled, I'm going to assume that the Defenders are canceled as well. And this is where the confliction begins. I'm really sad that they're ending Daredevil because Charlie Cox did an amazing job. He really captured the role. I don't think you could have casted anybody better to be Wilson Fisk. Vincent D'Onofrio is an amazingly understated actor. He can be anything. He can be the protagonist, the antagonist, supporting, lead, anything. He can be an extra and be amazing. He's just that guy. And by the way, he went to my high school, Hialeah Miami Lakes. He graduated in 1985. I mean, sure, it was 15 years before I went to school, <laughs> but it's still cool to talk about. Why did they cancel? Well, what was their well, reason they is, gave to the public? I this ask. is what leads into the confliction. If you didn't know, you're going to find out. Disney owns Marvel. Disney right. owns Marvel. Disney owns Star Wars. Disney owns Harry Potter. <sighs> Disney owns everything. <laughs> everything that is of interest right now. So When did that happen? Recently, within like the last five to ten years. Okay. All of this has been happening. Okay. So that's why we got the new Star Wars movies. The, right. the new saga. Right. Um, now we're doing Fantastic Beasts. And then Harry Potter is also going to get movies again. They're going to do different Harry Potter movies because J.K. Rowling wrote new books. Um, and she's made a contract with Disney. So hmm. Disney has finally smartened up. So like if you have on demand, you would know this. If you want to buy a movie on demand and put them in your digital box or your iCloud, they're expensive. It's like $25 for The Little Mermaid cartoon. You know what I mean? And if you go to Walmart to go buy Disney movies, they are expensive. It is $25, $30. Things like that for old movies, not even new movies. Mm -hmm. Sometimes new movies that come out for Disney are cheaper than old ones. <laughs> it's just the way Disney is. And Disney, they let off a really great product and stuff like this. So Disney finally smartened up. And now you're going to be able to stream Disney products. You mean so like Netflix and Hulu? Like Netflix and Hulu. They're going to have their own streaming way, just kind of like how DC did it. Uh, you can watch any DC content if you pay their monthly fee, and you can watch it as many times as you want. It's basically yours, but you have to pay like twenty dollars a month or something like that. So, so what's Disney, the point of having cable then? There isn't a point. Who has cable now? Dish Network, Directv, Comcast, <laughs> Fuck cable. CenturyLink. I don't watch anything with commercials. I don't even listen to the radio anymore. I listen to Spotify. I pay the little ten dollar fee for Spotify a month just so I don't hear ads. Uh, I don't understand. Because I hate advertisements. I really don't. I just, I, I have Comcast, okay? So I do have Comcast, and I just bought a smart TV last Super Bowl, and I literally watch YouTube on it, and I watch Netflix on it. So, yeah, it's like, what's the point of having Comcast and all that just because you want to watch the news? I used to, listen, I used to be a huge DVD buyer. I have the biggest DVD collection, Blu-ray collection, probably rivals with tony blu-ray tony blu-ray like his whole house is dvds and and, and blu-rays well you kept it right of course oh i actually left it to my ex-wife in the divorce and she recently gave them back to me she didn't want them she ah, she asked me if i wanted them and i asked her so, well, what's uh what's the catch <laughs> I told her. and she says there's no catch. Out my house that's pretty much it she did and i told her I says listen if you're not giving them all to me don't give me any because i don't want to separate them because <laughs> that's how much of a collector I was. So when I did get divorced, it was around the time where I smartened up and I got a Netflix account. <clears throat> All I watch is Netflix. Well, that's another problem with Netflix, too, is like, let's say you want to start with Netflix. It's only maybe eight dollars a month, but you only get selected few. Now you want to get into the stuff you really want. Now you got to pay seventeen dollars a month. No, 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 no. Now you have to pay thirty dollars a month. Now you got to go to this. Package. No, no, no. You're incorrect. I'm sorry. Uh, well, my, every time I want to try to watch them, it's like not on Netflix, not on Netflix. Well, they Netflix. they are constantly adding and taking things away. It's based on how many people watch. But what I have noticed with the things changing, there is a lot more Netflix produced content now 
Netflix so movies, Net- yeah. Netflix is producing their own movies and their own shows. Like the one of and Sandra Bullock that's going to come out soon. I think with Disney doing what they're doing, a lot of... Like, you can stream HBO. You can stream Showtime. You can stream sports. You, on Netflix? Eventually, not on Netflix. Oh, okay. They have their own companies they have their own little streaming services okay and like for eight dollars here nine dollars here ten dollars here and honestly i think it makes it greater like i was one of those people who waited and waited and pushed it off to get a smartphone i only got a smartphone about four or five years ago mm-hmm. and the smartphones have been around for a lot a lot longer yeah, I've been having a smartphone and, for a long time <laughs> and finally when i transferred to my smartphone it has made my life so much simpler just like streaming, I don't have to watch commercials. I can watch something when I want to watch it. I don't need to buy the DVR package. I don't need to do any of this stuff. And I don't need to pay $180 a month. And like what you're saying, like with Comcast, you have to get a bundle pack for it to be cheap. And then in two years, your contract goes up. They have to look for some kind of special or they have to jimmy in a way for you to pay, for you to pay less. Why would you want to live like that? Wonder you're at the whim of your cable company, whereas you can just get what you want. If they don't have it on Netflix, guess what? They'll have it on Hulu. If they don't have it on Hulu, then get a fucking Voodoo account and start. <laughs> I swear to God, you don't pay for a Voodoo account. All you pay for is your digital copies. So I can get the Anchorman bundle pack and get both movies and a, and a bonus movie for nine dollars. And I can watch the movies whenever I want. And then I don't have to have it in my house taking up space or anything. I just click on Voodoo. Hey, there are all my movies. I can watch all my movies now. Well, what about... You don't have to worry about memory <clears throat> space. You don't have to worry about anything like that. What about local news and, you know, things like that? Well, I, I don't watch the news. I mean... Hulu so when the world's going to end, you're Hulu not going to know about live. it. You can get live TV with Hulu, uh-huh. so you can watch all your live stuff with Hulu for like an extra like twelve bucks a month. There you go. All the live television, you just go boop, you go to CBS. So twenty stuff. for twenty dollars. Right now, I've had my contract for about a year, but I've been with Comcast forever. I don't even have all the movie channels. I only have like maybe stars, and I have internet. I'm paying a hundred and sixty-seven dollars a month. Well, let me that. let me explain something to you. For forty dollars a month, you can have internet. For another eight dollars, you can have Netflix. Another nine dollars, you can have Hulu. Add the twelve to that, you'll get your live news. If you want to watch the news, you one of those people. You know that's twenty dollars, and you get yourself some Voodoo, and then you can even get HBO Showtime for ten bucks each, and you're still paying less than a hundred dollars, and you have more content than you can do with. Well, I'll have to write it down to see it. I don't know. I, don't know I mean, it's possible. just smarter. It just well, I get the smart part. It's just I. I guess I've just had cable for so many years. I just don't know. You're stuck in your ways because you're so old. <laughs> Shut up, you shit. Because <laughs> you got more grace than I do, okay? Uh, uh, well, <laughs> this is what having children does to you. <laughs> this is what working at Walmart does for you. Hmm. So, yeah, you get a lot of grace. Yeah, Walmart gives the grace. <laughs> oh, big time. Walmart gives you huge grace. It's like having a million children. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all, all of them. Where's this? Where's that? Well, open your eyes, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> right there where you got them last week. Oh, Just let me saying. get it for you. Put it in your cart. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is why I'm excited. Disney jumped on the stream train. So soon you're going to be able to stream Disney. Now, with that being said, this is why I'm conflicted. I bet Disney streaming is going to be expensive because Netflix is $8. Hulu is nine. I'm sure there's other ones out there. Eight, nine bucks here and there. This is going to be like 30 bucks a month. I'm sure it's going to be something, but it's still not that bad. If you're a Disney freak or if you have kids, this is the perfect package for you. I mean, not only if you're a Disney freak, if, if you're a fantasy freak, like you like the Harry Potters, you like the Fantastic Beasts, you like uh, Avengers, uh, Star Wars. I mean, there's just Disney has done so much and they own so much. It's almost like a fucking monopoly. <laughs> you know, they have all the big name stuff right now. Right. That's not DC. And then DC is kind of a joke. It's How's a, DC feeling about that? It's a joke in comparison to Marvel. The only thing that DC has done better than Marvel is their shows. Hmm. And I don't know why, because you want to play a good drinking game? Watch the arrow. <laughs> Every time he talks about his past or the uh, Uncle Merle says he wants to do something for his daughter, that 
he's her father or something like that, take a drink. You'll be wasted. <laughs> You'll be wasted that hour. So wait, if you're saying that... Disney In my opinion, the only that, good show on DC is The Flash. Uh, Superman, not Superman, I'm sorry, Spider-Man. Is Spider-Man Disney now? Oh my God, I'm going to kick you off the show. <laughs> I did book. Yeah, Spider-Man's Disney. So what the hell's going to happen? Uh, Universal Studios taking that ride? Because now it's a Disney product? I believe that ride's already gone. All they do... I'm really disappointed right and now. L- and let me tell you something about that ride. You know, before it was Spider-Man, it was something else. And right. it was the same ride. That's, That's what they, they do. It was Every, Back to the Future, wasn't it? No, Back to the Future was a different one. Oh, okay. But you got the right idea. Mm-hmm. Um, what, what they, they do, do is they just change the content. It's the very same ride, change the content. <laughs> so they're also going to have to do something about the Hulk. Or, or you know what? Right. Maybe, Maybe they, they don't, don't do anything and they're just paying Disney... Disney to have it because be they just too. have to pay the rights Could be that too. that's all that maybe is maybe you're not that old mickey just that that place is freaking expensive now you yeah, want to you want to enjoy universal you're going to spend 200 bucks uh-huh. yeah 200 bucks a ticket yep i'll tell you what if I was you want a season through... pass i think it's like four or the season pass 400 dollars. and you yeah. still gotta buy the rush thing which is like 80, another $80. Yeah. I was know? going through some old boxes at my parents' house, and there was literally a Disneyland ticket, because we lived in California, $5.27. For what? To get into Disneyland. $5.27? Back in the day, baby. Back in wow. the day. Now we're up to, what, 120 something a ticket? Mickey, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Old as dirt! Old as dirt. It was my parents' house, not me. <laughs> I remember when coffee was a nickel. Oh, yeah, I think oh, we have no. like three minutes more, for, so we're going to take a little break. Okay. So uh, you want to like wrap up and we'll, we'll do our shout outs at break. How about that? We'll shout out some people during our break and then we'll come back for a little bit longer. Okay. Oh, well, I want to give a shout out to Fupa. Happy birthday, Fupa. Happy mm-hmm. birthday, Fupa. <laughs> for real. If you don't know who Fupa is, then fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, Shaheen Taylor. Uh, you can find him in the back in the claims at Walmart. <laughs> if you don't, if you do know him, please walk out to him, give him a happy birthday, call him Fupa, grab him in his lower belly, and just give it a little woogie. <laughs> happy birthday, Fupa! He might punch you though. He might punch you. So shout out to Michelle Mills. Thank you so much for um, plugging us over at your store mm-hmm. and. Uh, Hopefully you get some some traffic over there. Yeah. Remember, I'm, mention over the top, you get 10% off. Also want to give a shout out to Jeff Smith, Moody River Grill. If you're looking for a really nice breakfast or lunch, head over to Moody River Grill. That's right. Oh, well, yeah. Also, shout out to Rockade for being a supportive bar for the LGBT community. They might not be gay owned, but they are gay friendly. Uh, so shout out to Rockade for supporting the community. You got to love gay friendlies. Mm-hmm. Especially this one. Friendly fire. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hawks. We appreciate you. Biggs, Nick the Coupe. We'll see you in a bit. I was really worried. I didn't know that was half an hour. <laughs> Cut the rope. Obviously, dancing is not his career. No. Cut the rope. Give me candy. Give me candy. Give me the candy. Give me the candy. Give me the candy. You all right, Mike? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get started. We're already recording in thirty minutes. So All right. We'll go five.